So it's mango flower time here at Truly Tropical. In fact, some of our trees started flowering more than a month ago. Here we have some flowers that have just been pollinated and after that cold snap that we had last week, we're expecting the rest of the trees that haven't flowered yet to flower. So with all those mango flowers on our trees, we noticed a ton of pollinators. And the first wave of pollinators seem to be bees. And really early in the morning, we would come out and the mango flowers would just be covered with bees. This was really interesting to me because just a couple weeks before I had been down at Trek, where of course they do lots of research on tropical fruit and other things, and jo Dr. Jonathan Crane said absolutely bees did not pollinate their mango trees. And I have absolute confidence that that is true. So they have scientific methods and equipment to study just about everything there is to study about tropical fruit and the ornamentals, etc. So I was thinking, why is that? I, we're not that far away from Trek. It's like an hour and a half drive. And they have mango trees. We have mango trees. And so one of the first things that I thought of is possibly our bees are different. There have been mango trees on this property for more than a hundred years, which is like 2,000 generations of bees. So possibly with bees being um, on this property for so long, they've developed a preference, you know, through the generations for mango nectar. But then I thought possibly that's not the case because the mango trees that they have down a track are fairly old. So second theory was maybe Trek has good alternatives for the honeybees. You know, there are so many different varieties of fruits and vegetables and, you know, also ornamental plants and possibly the honeybees or other kinds of bees just rather go to those other types of flowers. But then an interesting thing happened. Uh, as we were looking at the mango flowers and taking pictures uh, you know, through the flowering season, there seemed to be like preferences. Now the honeybees we noticed a lot, uh, you know, just dominating the pollinating of dwarf Hawaiian, Julie, and ice cream mangoes. They were definitely on other varieties too, but those were, were key ones. So down at Trek, they have established that the main pollinator for their mango trees are flies. And we actually noticed flies here also, but they were not on, you know, like the Julie and the Dwarf Hawaiian and the ice cream mangoes. So the varieties that we noticed the flies pollinating were Alfonso, Jakarta, and Kit. So evidently, there's a difference in the nectar. Of course, there's a difference in the fruit taste, but the nectar uh, seems to attract different pollinators. One interesting thing about our observations was that Kit was one of the varieties that the flies like to pollinate. 
And so that goes back to Trek because Trek, as you might recall if you saw the video, um, has mostly kit mango trees. So that's another reason why they've noticed that flies are the pollinators, is quite possibly flies uh, are attracted to the kit mango flowers. So the important thing about knowing what pollinates mango trees is that there are steps you can take to encourage populations of those pollinators. Now, fortunately for us, weeds are a great attractant. Uh, they, a lot of our weeds have wonderful flowers that you know, bees and other pollinators are attracted to and they provide habitat for some of the pollinators, some of the flies especially. So weeds, especially flowering weeds, have been really effective here. So the main fly that we've noticed pollinating our mango flowers is the blue bottle fly. It's a large, rather pretty fly. Uh, it's Califera vomitoria and it's part of the blowfly family. And blowflies like to uh, lay their eggs in, well, rotting meat, uh, feces, and garbage. So one of the things that people do to encourage the blue bottle fly and other flies is to like suspend rotting meat, uh, rotting fish, uh, garbage in the mango grove. And that way all those eggs will you know, develop into flies and hopefully pollinate the mango trees. Uh, it's an old practice in India and a lot of people in South Florida have started doing it also. So we don't do that. We seem to have a lot of flies anyway. So other insects that pollinate mangoes include wasps, ants, and moths. We have noticed a few moths on our mango flowers. We haven't noticed the wasps or ants. But basically there are a lot of things that will pollinate mango flowers and just hopefully you'll have some of those. One other thing I should mention is that wind is also a way that mango flowers get pollinated. And of course, wind can blow the pollen into the flower but unfortunately, wind can also dry out the flower. So it is not a real effective way of pollinating mango trees usually, uh, but it does happen. So basically, a lot of things can pollinate mango flowers. And what's been interesting for us this year is that we actually discovered that there were certain varieties that certain pollinators preferred. And you know, we thought this was groundbreaking. Uh, you know, possibly the first people that noticed this. <laughs> of course, we were wrong. So it turns out there's a discussion on Tropical Fruit Forum about what pollinators uh, people have noticed on their mango trees. And so hopefully more people will join that discussion. And also, we would really appreciate it if you could put uh, anything you've noticed, any pollinator you've noticed on your particular variety of mango tree uh, in the comments section. You know, if you could just put down the pollinator and the variety of mango, I think they'll be useful to a lot of people. Uh, you know, if you have one tree or if you have a grove, it's always good to know what pollinates it. I know in India they have been hanging rotting meat and such from trees for like a long time. And that is, of course, to encourage flies. And then uh, Enzies, which is up in Merritt Island, uh, they don't have a lot of other fruit trees uh, and certainly not weeds in Merritt Island. So what they do every year is they pay someone to bring in bees. Uh, and so just as the mangoes are beginning to flower, they have these bees arrive and hopefully they're hungry and do a lot of work in the grove pollinating their trees. So one of our customers has decided to take a pretty significant step to establish a fly population on his property. So he has sort of a complicated uh, collection of buckets that is uh, surrounding fish and he put uh, the fish there 
so that flies would be attracted to it and lay their eggs there. So hopefully that he'll have a huge fly population and uh, just when he needs it for the mango flowers. Now he put this bucket suspended off a long pole and the reason he did that is he did not want to feed raccoons because raccoons can get into all sorts of things. And then his little series of buckets was to prevent uh, like birds eating the fish. So hopefully that works out well for him also. Um, but the bottom line is there are steps that you can take to encourage the pollinators on your property. I hope that everybody has a great uh, fruit set this year on their, I mean, you have to have the flowers, but you also have to have the pollinators.